Hey folks, so my last video didn't take at all, and uh, I'll go ahead and erase what I was talking about here. So we'll just test this again, and I'll, I'll do a shorter video too, because I just said a whole lot of stuff that didn't, the video's not actually usable because the camera wasn't focused, so hopefully the camera's focused right in here somewhere. <clears throat> and uh, so here's what we're doing today. And I've seen this on YouTube videos, or not YouTube videos, but I've seen this on free energy uh, research sites like uh, Rex Research and the uh, Free Energy UK, which I think that Patrick Kelly guy, I think's his name, maybe the guy in, in uh, over in, in uh, the United Kingdom, that talks about free energy. So we're talking about like free energy m motion systems, and also the the free energy devices that use magnetic fields like transformers and things like this. So what I have here is a, is a, a magnetic core and it's, we'll say this is basically like a transformer winding, okay? So uh, what I have here is this really, you know, this long winding like this, okay? But now what I'm doing here is I also have a, in series with this winding here, I don't want to get too far this way. Let's come over here. In series with this is a spark gap. We'll just say it's a spark gap. It could be a motor. Uh, you know, this could be not a diode because you, you, you're going to have to have a back and forth. The current's got to at least break. I guess it could be a diode, but you, the current's going in one. We'll just say it's a DC current, so we'll just say like positive over here and negative. So this is going to go through a spark gap, or this could be a motor or a load. We'll just say it's a load there, okay? And then it's going to come through here through a big primary. The primary is on the outside of the secondary coil. And then we're going to go, you know, to ground or to negative, okay? But depending on the polarity of this, One thing I didn't talk about is there's a, there's a magnetic induction in here, okay? So this field is going to break, but there's also a magnet. We'll just say there's a magnet right here. North, south. And we got a spark gap or a rotary dial or just whatever. This could just be a, this could be just somebody there sitting there flicking a switch. But, depending on how you polarize this transformer this is a this is a this is all in one series winding but the secondary this actually would be the primary is in the place of the secondary so it goes through the the primary which is actually the secondary and it goes through a spark gap there's a magnetic field there okay so there's there's the, the field effects but depending upon how you polarize this even though it's in series with the secondary this becomes the primary. This is at the end of the loop going towards ground or going towards negative or sink. Whichever direction the current goes. We'll just say that the current goes. That's the tail end of it. Looks like the tails of a feather, this plus sign. And we'll just say that this is the, you know, where it's coming at you or the ground or the negative. That's the negative or a minus sign. Okay. Ground. So current goes through here through the spark gap. And you create aether waves, okay? Now the aether waves are going to interfere or they're going to aid this induction right here. Whatever you're doing with this coil, if this is a transformer, or if this is a motor, or if this is, uh, you know, just whatever that you're trying to use an inductor, or something you're using an inductor for, you can take advantage of this free energy possibly in one way or another because if nothing else, you can just use it as a dampener. Because I guarantee you, if you wind this one direction, this is going to get hot, and it's going to this is going to start drinking current. It's going to start going zipping through here, and this so this wire is going to start melting, and it's going to catch fire. If you turn this other way, it's going to back feed. It's going to it's going to compress it, and it's it's not going to draw hardly any current. It won't get hot, and no one can really explain why that is. That's. They say all oh, this or that, you know, we're thinking maybe, well, the electrons are coming. What's happening is they come through here, they're compressing, and they're coming here, and the electrons are sort of expanding. They're going into a bigger wire or whatever. But another possibility is electrons are being accelerated 
by this field and they're compressed so electrons are going and these others are coming and they're they're hitting each other and getting excess energy like uh, sort of like cold fusion or they're just like pushing against each other and so they just have to grow they just start like stacking up and getting fat, heavier their, their, uh, their inertia is increasing or their mass is increasing there's a million theories but regardless of what the theory is to explain it we know that there's at least there's an ether and we think that there's electrons we call them electrons but whatever these charges whatever this current is it's like a current of information really you don't even have to call them particles you could just say this as well the you know the information is going this direction with a direct current it's a pressure of direction but there's no uh, there's no actual you know electrons aren't tunneling through plastic separators in your battery we've already shown that in another video so anyhow that's what we're doing all I'm saying is that when you have a transformer like this is a transformer and you have a primer you have a primary that goes through a spark gap and then goes to a, a larger coil that actually acts as the primary for the secondary the secondary gets either stronger or weaker depending upon how you rewire this so you go you know clockwise or counterclockwise it's going to get stronger or weaker or it's going to get hotter or it's going to get colder and uh, they're making everything where it really is just drawing more and more currents getting hotter and hotter and hotter and uh, you don't have to do that you can you can get more power by adding a magnet in there Anyhow, that's for the uh, motionless and moving magnetic systems like motors and um, DC generators, things like that. Just want to say, thanks for watching.